Welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. We're here at Indianapolis, Indiana for the Indy 800 17 nitrous powered Crown Vicks going around the big 5 8 mile Indianapolis. What is this? Super Speedway? You betcha. All of it. We got a new ride I got to show you. The old 1776 Crown Vic is down. We're going to get ready, have a lot of fun. Plus, we're going to get a little bit of a damage update on Independence here. Last night, it popped both tires, but we took in a little bit of body damage. Well, there were some fellers out here running some test laps and I got here just in time, 5, 15, something like that. And I thought, well, let's take the old 1776 out for a quick rip. They put a radiator in it and did a bunch of work to it. And I just wanted to make sure that, you know, we could get around on the track in this thing. Did uh, three or four laps and boy, she was loose. Just under steering. And had issues coming out of the quarter and wanted to go towards the wall. So I came into the pits and heard some rubbing. Look at this. Yeah, the old Watts link. Link em upper bar, stabilizer, unit, jobber. Checked out. Went on vacation. Issue with the axle. She's, uh, she's gonna have to be retired, fellas. Sorry to say, but. 1776 is going to be put up for the race and they're going to stick me in a spare at least so i can start we're going with that guy right there it's the first one up i hope they have more spares than that and i feel kind of guilty if not but we're going to jump in that front car i've got to uh load up my gear i got one sticker for the captain's side left my jack down there when i did that camara and uh we got to paint her up we gotta get going on some paint here pretty soon. I just, I don't know what to do right now. That was a lot of work painting it like that. But maybe we bring her back around. Well, this is gonna be our rig. I already like it. Look at the seat. Can't get any better than that. We got some cheetah prints, you know, they're pink, whatever. Real men wear pink, okay? So anyway, it's been a long day. I'm gonna unhook the trailer, park this up by the trailer, call it a night. It's been a long one. And tomorrow, we go ripping. Indy 817 Crown Mix Nitrous 5 8 track. That's the old. That's the jack of the trunk. Just pretend it didn't happen. Let's see what it's got. Is that a Tioga camper? Moses. We're going with a satin coastal gray primer. Gray primer. And uh, what is this? Dark gray primer. It almost looks black, but it's kind of the three grays of the... Well, it was kind of a unique schedule this time, which I don't mind one bit. We did Cletus of Cars first, then we're doing the Indy 800 the day after. But that leaves us with the challenge of cleaning up and getting the Chevelle loaded back on the trailer today. Plus, I also have to decorate my car, which no one else has to do that because that was done in Florida. We're going to be opening up the tent so I can meet all you guys. That's my favorite part. Um, and you guys, yesterday you stood in the rain twice to come down and meet a guy. I appreciate you guys so darn much. It's so cool. I met folks from probably 40 different states yesterday so that was really neat but I'll give you a little update on the Chevelle here as far as the engine goes she only got to 224 yesterday nice did not get hot we get her back to the shop we'll do the usual just precautionary stuff compression check leak down change the oil we'll cut the oil filter open because it's got new bearings and then stuff like that and take a look at that we did pop both tires but oh this just breaks my heart uh, on my tip in, I got a little aggressive turning right. I should have went deeper into the pit. It's my own fault. 
and hit the wall hard. And what really did it was it hit more of this angle than sideways. It looks terrible, but it's just because there's nothing, you know, there's nothing left of the old girl. Nonetheless, it just gives me heartburn seeing this. I did go back and get the quarter panel patch. You can see where the rivets popped off. We found that in the uh, burnout pit and we'll try to get that attached. We'll have to try to pull the bumper out. But I mean, none of this equipment was harmed or hurt in any way. Still runs, we drove it all the way back to the pits. Uh, I gotta do something with the exhaust. It was dragging on the ground. You can see there it's bent. Um, I actually thought I had popped both tires. One was just a big backfire and tire fire. I thought that was popping because I heard the tailpipes dragging. You could hear metal on the ground. And uh, I got, got out a little bit early, but anyway, that's an easy, easy fix. We could just trim that up. And uh, we're gonna swap on the old mags. And these wheels here, which is what the car originally had on. Not these exact wheels, but back when it was originally painted, uh, after 9-11 there it had mags like this on so we're gonna put these on just kind of as show wheels And then later this afternoon, we'll put it on the trailer. We're gonna leave it out so folks can see it We also got the Monte Barrow out here And then I'm gonna go find my Crown Vic see if they'll let me bring it up here to the tent So we could be spray painting on that and still meeting folks. You know what I mean? Jessica Haley and Jad are setting up brother Chris is swapping tires Focus is already lining up. We're gonna do a cold start. See how Independence is doing this morning. Do a little oil pressure check this morning. There we go. Here's the new unit. Oh yeah. Is he? Yeah. Is he gonna go for a donut? Yes, that's my guy. I knew he was gonna spin him. You just couldn't help it. You have to. What a unit. This thing feels solid. Does it? Awesome. No lights on the dash. What? Wow. Hope this one works out good for you. Me too, Just buddy. The seat, you know? Well, the seat's gonna help. <laughs> this man put in so much work on that 1776 car and the we Watts leak went and... We put a power steering pump even on top of all the other things. <laughs> Alternator, intake manifold, throttle body, radiator, yeah. trans cooler with the condenser. Wow, this wasn't we meant tried. to be. This unit's <laughs> gonna do it though. We'll get we us got home. You a nitrous system in here now, so okay. you're good to go. Nice. Is a bottle in there already? No, we'll put them in on the front stretch. Okay. And everybody's ready to go. All right, we're gonna paint her up and we'll bring her out. Yep. And I parked your car in the infield too, you know, so. True. No one forgets. Did the paint job on that one was perfect. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> so these guys are taping off the rig here. Uh, headlights, stuff like that. Tail lights, glass, and then I'm gonna come over, get a design on it, you know. And then they're gonna try to fill it in. It's gonna be like a coloring book. I'm not worried about Chad. I'm a little concerned about Chris figuring it out, but I don't know. Chad will help him, I guess. But the reason we're doing kind of this camo with the white is it's fast. We don't have a lot of time. We got a lot of folks uh, waiting. So I don't wanna be over at the car too long. So we're gonna be able to use a lot of the white in the pattern and just a couple grays in the black. And I think it's gonna look pretty sharp we got one sticker a 1776 off of the old car and i think i got one derek vgg maybe we'll put that on the windscreen i don't know yet we'll figure it out we're here that'd be maybe that would be neat i don't know tires are worn but they're not bad but i'm okay with that because it's more fair some of the other cars have worn tires as well so and it definitely was a patrol unit i could see P-O-L-I-C-E, right on the door. Well, it looks kind of goofy right now, but I'm just trying to lay down the patterns and I'm putting dots in on the colors that they're gonna be painted. I've got to run to the driver's meeting, but we've got Chad, 
Chris and Bentley out here just ripping on it. And once I get the pattern down and the whole car colored, then I come back and figure out if I want to change any of the colors and stuff like that. Down maximum 30 by this, you know, spot right here. I would say 30 coming on just in case someone's looking. Yeah, just you coming out. Right. I came back from the driver's meeting and these guys had the, the old Crown Vic whipped out. Looks pretty good. Something odd about this side. I can't quite put my finger on it, but we're going to take it. Quick and dirty. It'll stand out. It looks pretty sharp. Get the tape off this thing, and then we got, like I say, we got one number. I think we'll put that on the driver's door. So when we're going around the track, folks from the stands can at least see on the back straight what number this rig is, you know? There we go. Even got up in the spoiler there. Tape job is excellent. We're also going to uh, take some uh, ratchet strap and ratchet strap the seat to the bar. Over the course of lappage, that seat starts to bend over and it gets really, really uncomfortable on the old, you know, the hip assist. So we're gonna try to tighten that up a little bit. I also gotta get my belts figured out right away. Qualifying's in like 45 minutes. So I gotta have that seat dialed then. We're doing our best. Yeah, yeah, look. Got the cars loaded up. We are going to head into the infield, get the belts ready, and do a qualifying pass. Get two laps out here. There's the old car. Looks good from 73.9 feet. They're getting in the nitruses. Crowds filling in. This is just qualifying. Oh, it's the sand. Well, we'll get the belts adjusted and it's hot, but I got the old suit on. Make sure we fit right. And then I'll peel that off again. Just 50 shot of the out here on that mini. And we have the green flag. Qualifying group two has started. Parker Mitchell crossing the line now. These guys are spread out. This is going to be good. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Parker, I mean, you, or really, you want to have these guys out here not so bunched together. You're out here trying to qualify. Looks like he's out here just really getting it. I do like that paint scheme on Derek from Vice Group. He's, he's always got something going on. I like that. Then is followed up by your boy, Parker Mitchell. Had a little tough break last night. That hell can seems like he came down. Yeah, she fucked up. She's all your guy. Then you got Doug in that. Buenos dias in South. The LS Jones on the right to D. Get up on your feet. Let's hear it. Got done qualifying, got them lined up here in the pits. George just did a burnout down the whole front. Uh, we qualified 13th, so of course, back to pass. But the car seems good, definitely handled better than the old 1776. So I don't know what the game plan is here. It's a lot faster track, there's no greater angle to this track, very, very little. Take a look at this. Kind of hard to see with all the smoke, but it ain't bank, even like the Freedom Factory, and definitely not like Bristol where we're headed. So saving tires is going to be huge today. Saving transmissions is going to be big. Uh, this is definitely a different rear end, I think. I'm almost a red line in second gear into the corner. There's a couple cars that have to shift in the third, which is not good for them. It's going to be transmission and tires today for sure. The other issue we just started thinking about here on the track is fuel. This track is 5 8 and uh, I can tell you personally, I've ran other cars to a quarter tank at the Freedom Factory. A lot more wide open throttle here and obviously more miles, so it's going to be interesting. There might be some fellers running out of the gasoline fumes. We're hopefully okay. I'm at like 7 8 of a tank, so fingers crossed.
80 laps. Man, man, 80 laps in these guys. The whole field is within a second and a half, I think is what they just said. Really, really tight. Uh, behind Brian Deegan, Jack Stan, George is behind me, Jamie PFI, I believe he won before. Uh, Doug, side by side blog.
Central. It is boiling hot. I hate to say it, but we're going to need cautions if these cars are going to last. I got engine light flashing, temp gauge on. I think that's the transmission light, ECU something. You know, everything is going fine. Currently in seventh. I probably could have made a two car pass, but uh, Brent cut across me and I had the jam on the brakes or I would have turned him into the outside wall. We don't want that. That is the end of the Indy 800. Who won? Who, anybody know who won? I was